we go. Bully reviews. Bueller. 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 All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe. And here at Boring Land, we are going to be trying we are going to try something new. We always like to, you know, stretch out our wings a little bit and see where the wind will carry us. And so this is something that we <laughs> I like that. This is something we've been requested by many people to do and I will try to find some I can't think of the top of my head right now. I'll try to find some people that have requested it recently and put their request right here. But we're looking at a different sport. And this is, I think I'm saying it correctly, but I'm probably not, Kabaddi. I'm hor horrible at pronouncing stuff. But the main reason why is we love sports. And when we started reacting to cricket, I mean, we definitely opened a good Pandora's box. Not a bad one. But, man, we did not know what we were getting ourselves into. Not saying we're going to be dedicating Kabaddi, Kabaddi Thursdays or anything like that. But we want to know what the sport's all about because I know nothing besides whatever movie that was. I can't remember what it's called that I reacted to the trailer. That's the only thing I know about it. Um, do you know anything about Kabaddi? Gabe being the expert? Not even a little bit. Listen, I know about a lot of sports. Never heard of Kabaddi. And you know what? It, right now, dude, it's like it's so funny that we're doing this because people are – looking for sports to re to to watch and not just uh, the youtubers to react to it, but i'm talking about actually watch I, like i said espn broadcasted the very first korean baseball game uh, uh uh league game the other day it was hilarious you know what i mean like something insane it did like 20 million of uh, uh, uh um um 20 million viewers you know what i mean for like a korean baseball league game bro it, it is what it is people have been watching tabletop tennis bro badminton all right Badman, there's this funny YouTube video uh, 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 going around. I can't find it. Maybe it was on Facebook post where there's like crowds or whatever and everybody's watching or whatever. And it's two dudes playing chess and the one dude doesn't move. And like, yeah, they're all, you know what I mean? We, we Did need they have that, the man. face paint and they had the foam fingers and all that? <laughs> dude, watch your chess for the love of Pete. We just need that competition, man. Listen, pretty much, pretty soon people are gonna start, you know, watching a uh, 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 um paint dry or something like that. Just trying to figure out like some type of some type of sports. And right now, I know that the the, the restrictions are starting to ease up here in America as far as other places. So I heard a rumor supposedly baseball maybe July fourth, fourth of July. It would make sense, you know. The, the birth of our country. So that would be cool to do. I don't know. It's, I think it's optimistic. And I, I did hear also that they're going to do it without fans. But, you know, if Kabaddi's on, bro, I'm watching it, okay? If, if, if there's any kind of sport, I'm watching it, man. Uh oh, no joke, bro. I mean, dude, it's so bad. It's so bad. One of the guys I follow on YouTube, um, John Boy Media, he's the guy that blew up the whole Houston Astros um, baseball scandal. He's watching games from like 1987, bro, and doing re reviews on them or whatever. And it's like, I need content, bro. And I wasn't like, he's, like, he's actually younger than I am, actually. I didn't see this game live, so I'm going to watch it now. <laughs> But, you know, that's kind of cool because there's a lot of avenues you can go with the past. I mean, think about it. That's decades and decades of content and World Series you can go into and all-stars and teams. But let's go ahead and jump into this reaction. I cannot wait any longer. This is from the channel um, Nin Lee, if I said that correctly. We've reacted to his rules of baseball and his rules of cricket videos. So his videos are always very informative, and they're always very quick, which we appreciate. Short but sweet. Um, we know we're not going to get all of the information we need, but we know we're going to get a basic overview. So I'm sure you're going to already, but let us know in the comment section below what was missed from this video. Let us know if there's interest out there in some more Kabaddi videos. Again, we don't want to open another Pandora's box, but... <laughs> We do love sports. So with all that being said, like and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Instagram. And let me know when you're ready. All right. Three, two, one. Nen explains the rules of Kabaddi. Kabaddi is an Indian sport played with two teams of 12 players, okay, with so seven players Indian taken sport. to the court at any one time. The game is played on a rectangular court that's generally a maximum of 30 meters by 10 meters. This is a midline that divides the court into two. It's and these small. are the walk lines, the end lines, the bonus lines, and this is the lobby area. <laughs> the I'll lobby explain area. what these are shortly. 
The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. To score, a team must send a player, known as a raider, into the opposing half of the court whilst chanting the word Kabaddi repeatedly. A raider must only use one breath and chant the word Kabaddi repeatedly to show the referee that he is exhaling and not holding his breath. The first goal of the raider is to reach the balk line. Failure to do this results in the raider being out and cannot participate in the next part of the game. The second goal of the raider is to touch as many players as he can and make it back to the midline before he is caught and tackled by the defenders. He can do this in several ways, with a hand touch, a toe touch, a kick, or by trying to escape a tackle and reaching for the midline. He gets one point for every opposing defender that he touches so long as he makes it back to the midline or whilst repeatedly chanting the word Kabaddi. And any touch defenders are out and cannot participate in the next round of play. Understand so far? Cool, let's continue. <laughs> no, I don't understand. The defenders, sometimes known as antis, will try and stop the raider returning to the midline, especially if one of them has been touched. They can use several tactics such as the ankle hold, back hold, front tackle, and forcing them off the court entirely. If the defenders manage to stop the raider returning to his own half of the court, the raider is out and the defending team gets one point. Once a raid is finished, the opposing team must send out a raider of their own within five seconds or the team will lose a point. <laughs> Got it? Good, because it's about to get a lot more More than that? Oh, God. When a player is out, he must wait in the sitting block and is temporarily unable to participate in the game. Once a raider has been tackled or a point has been scored, they are allowed to revive one of their own players out of the sitting block to rejoin the team. This means that every time you score, you can revive one or more of your players back onto the field of play. The game is played in two 20-minute halves for a combined playing time of 40 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. Kabaddi is the ultimate game of cat and mouse, as the defenders have to be far enough away so that they can't be touched, but also close enough to tackle the raider should he decide to make a run for it. This is a highly strategic sport and there's a few more rules that you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, the lobby. The lobby is an extended area of play, which is denoted by the yellow areas here. These are only active when a defender has been touched and gives both the raider and defender more room to try and score or get the raider out. Bonus line. As mentioned before, this is the bonus line. If a raider puts one foot in the bonus line with one foot in the air, he will score one point so long as he makes it back to the midline. However, the bonus line is quite far from the midline and reaching for this line makes it easier for the defender to tackle you. The bonus line is only active when there are six or seven defenders on the court. Jeez. Super tackle. If there are three or less defenders on the defending team and they manage to tackle a raider, this is known as a super tackle and scores two points. One point for eliminating the raider and a bonus point for doing so with three or less defenders. Do or die raid. If a team has two unsuccessful raids, i.e. they score zero both times, the third raid is the do or die raid. Failing to score on the third raid in a row results in the raider being out. Pursuit. A pursuit is where a defender charges at a retreating raider with the aim of scoring a quick point off him. This is usually done if the other team is slow to retreat from a raid and the defender is close enough to score a point and make it back to the midline quickly before the other players realize. All out. If in the rare instance a raider gets all the defenders out in one raid, this is known as an all out. The raiding team gets one point per player and an additional two points. All players are revived after an all out. To the uninitiated, Kabaddi seems strange, confusing, even ridiculous. But once you understand the rules, it becomes an interesting sport to watch. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, comment, rate and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is always appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy Kabaddi. Gotta give a thumbs up for that. Yeah, me too. Um, all right. So, I... I <laughs> I do not understand too much. And it's it, he kept saying that, so it sounds like, you know, I'm not the first one. It seems to me that they said you get a point by touching as many different guys as you can and getting back to the midline, okay? So 
if when we have seven or eight guys on one side and one Raider coming in, right. what's to stop those seven or eight guys from just gang tackling him so he can't get back? Because once you tackle him to the ground before they get back, then they're done, right? Yes, but then they, but they don't want to get touched. They want to tackle him. So you even figure- when you attack, when you initiate the tackle, if any part of his body touches you, you're you're out too. Because they know no, that has a point until he gets back to the midline. So if we just gang tackle when you're right there, I mean, unless I these think- guys are much quicker than I'm thinking they are. But I mean, there was, I mean, so flank that guy, take him down and get him. I mean, that's just, I don't understand. Holy cow. Well, well, there you go. You said flank though. So you're already talking about strategy, which is exactly what the guys, what, what the, um, the creator of the video said, you know, it's a, it's a very big strategy game. So who knows? You may be right. I can tell you this. I, doubt I don't think, you know, when you started watching um, cricket, even though cricket was a new sport to us, it wasn't we had that something boring. to relate it to. Yes, we had context because of baseball. So, bro, for me, this is like the very first time I watched American football. Again, I was not born in this country, and you know, up until probably I was maybe twelve. 13 i just never watched american football all i watched was you know uh, baseball which is huge in the caribbean dominican republic uh, um where my family's from and i remember the very first time i watched a football game i was in junior high school and, and some kids were talking about it and i got invited over to a friend's house and okay we're watching american football and i'm sitting there thinking what just happened i'm like <laughs> i had the same feeling right now because i have no context for this sport bro i'm like Okay, what am I watching? You know what I mean? And I, I was trying to find something to compare it to. I'm like, is it kind of like rugby? No, because it's like, would be like an e- scrum, maybe a, a scrum. No, is it like uh, um, wrestling? Only it no, because you were outnumbered. Obviously, one guy's just trying to tag. I, I mean, dude, I can't even. It would take a while to actually digest that sport. I think for us, digesting cricket was easier because we had some context because we have some knowledge of, of runs and batting. And But here, I'm just like, I understood where he's like, ready? Got it? Good. Okay, so here's what you do. But there is so many rules to this thing that it would take a lifetime to, or not a lifetime, but it would take a while to uh, figure them out. So I'm just looking up a little bit of history right here. It says... Um... It's popular in South Asia and other Asian countries. Accounts of Kabaddi appear in the history of ancient India, but this game was popularized as a competitive sport in the 20th century. I was trying to figure out, it's a national sport of Bangladesh. I was trying to figure out where this or originated from. The thing that's impressive, is this is a sport that involves no ball whatsoever. You don't see too many of those out there. I mean, obviously wrestling and stuff like that, but there's not a lot of sports that involve a team and there's no ball whatsoever. So that's pretty cool. I I mean, I, I might eat these words. I have no idea. But I can't imagine we'll be doing a lot of Kabaddi-related videos after this. I'm not going to say I don't like it because that's that's ignorance. I don't know enough about it to not like it. But right. i got to be honest. I, I have no idea what's going on. Now, my – the you know, the – I don't want to say the intellectual part because that sounds, you know, whatever. But – the educational part of my brain wants to learn more just because I know nothing about it. I don't like feeling like a moron, yeah, but right. man. Um, and I'm not sure if, you know, there are reaction channels out there for Kabaddi, which if there's not, that'd be pretty cool that we would be one of the first, but I just don't know much about it. We need your help. We need you to give us some information in the comment section. We need other videos on YouTube. Not that we're necessarily going to react to, but maybe we'll watch on our own to give right. us more information. But I don't see us right now, you know, doing Kabaddi Thursdays, <laughs> just because I don't know much about it. But well, it's a more I do obscure- like strategy. Strategy is fun in games, and it seems like there's a lot of strategy. I, I was first thinking like capture the flag because they're they like guarding the back of their their, their position right there. But right. anyways, no, I mean it's 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 a more a more obscure sport. You know what I mean? There's sports here in America that we don't watch, and people were like, eh, 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 and no joke. I was willing to watch anything, right? I keep saying that. And then I went to ESPN and they were putting on some fly fishing or something. Yeah, bass pro- fishing is a sport. I'm not watching that. Sorry, can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a sport, right? It, and they got sponsors and it's on TV. Um, badminton is a sport. Other things where you're just like, you know, and 
For me, NASCAR, Again. I'll never get, I mean, you know, cars are cool and racing is cool, but I mean, there's only so many times I can watch those cars go in circles over and over and over. I, without knowing this, I'm going to tell you right now, you've never been to a race. No, not at all. Okay. I thought the same thing. Okay. And this is where sometimes, like you mentioned before, you can't, you know, say, make a statement or a blanket statement without knowing. I said the same thing. Like, I'm not going to go just to see these cars go over and over and over again. This is dumb. Until I went to my first NASCAR race, a friend of mine uh, was actually working one of the, um, the booths and I was helping him out that weekend or whatnot. We were doing it for a fundraiser for the baseball team. So I got to sit down and watch a race. Nick, when those cars come by, bro, you feel it. When I tell you you feel it, bro, you feel it. And honestly, I, I'm, I'm convinced that the NASCAR crowd is watching a crash. Because every time that you see everything, everyone's like, ooh, they're just like waiting for a crash to happen. Because I and I didn't I didn't see one that day. There were a couple close calls, but man, even when the cars come running down, you feel the tires. It is like an experience that's intense. It's almost like a a, a you not you for not, not like a, a um an adrenaline rush, but you know, just that you know that that fence is there, that gate. But then you really think, and you think about that scene from Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, from um, there goes my my gamer uh, um side coming out of me, but from um Final Destination, I think it was Final Destination Four. Did you see that one with the NASCAR race or whatever? If one of those cars really does come up and flip it, is that fence gonna stop it from getting into the crowd? So it's almost exhilarating. But I said the same thing. I'm not a fan. It's there and now anytime somebody tells me hey bro you want to go uh go to a nascar race i'm going now i agree okay, let me up. ask you this are you gonna watch it on tv even after you've nope. gone to it exactly nope. that's what i'm saying and you know i'm 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 a big spectator guy i don't like going to a lot of live events because you know the facilities are disgusting the food's overpriced sometimes it warrants it but i mean i've tried nascar i've never tried kabaddi before i've tried watching it when I spent some time in the Southern United States in Florida, man, NASCAR is like a religion to a lot of these people. And so I'd walk around Sundays and everybody's watching the race. Growing up in California, it wasn't that way at all. So, I mean, I get that there are people that are religious to it, but I can at least say I have watched. I was, I was a huge Dale Earnhardt Jr. fan, you know, 10 years ago or so. I was waiting for him to finally win one of a ch one championship, and I was a big fan of his dad, too. I have seen a lot of race. I just couldn't get into it. But a lot of people said watching it live is a lot more fun. But I would think that would be almost any sport, right? Uh, yeah, you're, you're probably right about that. It was just the experience, though. I've never felt that in any other sport because there's an element of danger. I'm telling you, when those come around the track and you could feel the air and they're coming. And then when they bang and you hear it, even though you might have in the plugs. I had like the little orange ones in. But you see people with the big uh, noise canceling headphones on. Because it's so oh, I hear it's loud, loud bro. I hear you, you can't hear yourself afterwards. It's super intense. So maybe, you know, Kabaddi is like that, where you, you know, you have to be up there close and personal. I'll tell you one thing. I saw a couple of people take some licks in there. So if anything else, if you're into uh, combat sports, even though. Oh, it's definitely know, like a man's game. That's for sure. Because, I mean, it is just straight out tackling on that hard floor, it looks like. Um, definitely looks interesting. I, I will say, movie related, since it's boring reviews. Ford versus Ferrari, fantastic movie. You got to check that out. I just didn't like the ending, but the whole movie was fantastic, very intense. So the question is, what did you think of this reaction? Did we surprise you at all with our knowing nothing after watching it? And let us know what you think about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If this video didn't do it for you, check out some other videos we have or sure something in there you will enjoy. And check out our other channel, Cricket for Americans. It has nothing but cricket on there if you're a cricket fan. But with all that being said, we appreciate you so much. Until next time. We know all things. Except Kabaddi. <laughs>